Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial that was requested by my last haul when I feature this bebe right here, the Anastasia Artis Palette. You guys requested it, so I said, you know what, let's jump onto that wagon. Now, the colors, as you guys can see, you guys probably have seen this, but look at these babies. They are gorgeous, colorful, the way I like it. <laughs> I wanted to have like a nice smoky eye, with a little pop of color and this was by Fresh right in the inner part of my eye and you still have a little something something right there in the center of my lid if you guys want me to do more tutorials using this palette all you have to do is just let me know down below I can definitely come up with another look for you guys this tutorial is gonna be mainly using a lot of high-end products because lately I have gotten a lot of stuff that I haven't used I wanted to give it a whirl and grab all my new stuff that I've gotten with a few drugstore stuff that I have here without further ado if you guys want to see how I came up with this look then just keep on watching I will start first with the shade that's called Buttery. It's a nice matte off-white bone color. I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Along with this Coastal Scents BRC N06. As a transition color, I'm going to be use this shade that is also a matte eyeshadow and it's called Dusty Rose. Along with this Morphe brush and it's the... Oh my god, how can I see this? MV23. I'm gonna apply this right above my crease. And I like to extend it out a little bit on the outer V. Now moving on to the crease, I'm gonna use this beautiful, like, I don't know, it's like a, a dark gray color. I'm really bad when it comes to actually describing colors, but this is in the shade Overgene, and I'm gonna be using this Define Brush from Coastal Sense, which is a PRC N08. Now, I know this looks super harsh. A little bit goes a long way with these eyeshadows. They are so pigmented. That looks deep as heck. But, we're going back with a fluffy brush. This is a Coastal Sense PRC 250, and we're just gonna blend it out because we want to have a seamless line next what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to use this gorgeous color that is called baby i'm a star and this eyeshadow is shimmery with specks of gold it's a nice brown rich tone i'm gonna use this elf smudge brush i like it because it's really really small i'm going to apply this on the inner and outer part of my eye and I like to connect it right in the center. This looks really, really messy. So I will go back again with the same brush that I used on my crease. And I'm just going to make sure that we blend this out. Now that you look like someone punch you in the face, <laughs> we're going to uh, focus right on the center of our lid. I picked this color that is called orange. you fancy. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, I like it because it's really going to go well with the Baby I'm a Star, which was like a, that, that brown, rich, uh, with specks of gold. I just figured that they both were going to like have a nice combination together. And you see that I like to blend out the edges, so it does combine with the inner and outer part of the eye. Now moving on to my lower lash line, I'm going to use a combination of the two eyeshadows that I used on my crease, which was Overgene and also Dusty Rose. And I'm just like using this uh, Zoeva 226 smudger. I'm going to line my eyes with my Engla Jet Liner and along with this angle brush by Zoeva, I'm going to do a very thin line. Nothing too dramatic because I want to make sure that you can still see the eyeshadows pop. Also, with the same angle brush, which I already cleaned it, I want to use this matte gray black eyeshadow that is called Coal. I'm gonna like pop this right on my lower lash line because I want to deepen it out a little bit more. So I figure let's use more of these eyeshadows on this palette. 
Now, for lashes, you guys know that I've been loving my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm trying to finish it because I think it's time. I'm also going to pop some Coco Lashes. These are called Misha and they're nice, wispy lashes. Okay, now we popped those false lashes and we added some mascara. We're gonna move on to, on to the primer. This is my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I have been enjoying this lately. Um, in terms of like minimizing lines and pores and all that good stuff a lot of people have recommended this to me and I remember I picked this up when I went to IMAT New York and I like it so thank you guys for all your recommendations oh my god this little thing I get it every time a line I was telling my friend Normie that I get this little line when I wear glasses go figure now for foundation, I'm gonna use a combination of these two. I'm gonna start first with my Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying Oil Free. I chose this because obviously oil free and it's mattifying. And I'm going to mix it with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 330. I'm gonna use my Morphe 4M439 Kabuki brush with the Hourglass. I find that it gets a little too patchy and you have to work really, really quickly with it. Now moving on to concealer, this is gonna be my second time using the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade Medium Dark Warm. And I'm gonna mix it a teeny little bit with my NYX HD Concealer in the shade Glow. Now I must say, I really really like this concealer. This shade is not as light to highlight, this is why I like to use my NYX concealer. Lately I've been absolutely loving this Morphe E12 which is a nice pointy brush that is great for concealer. We're gonna go back again with the palette and we're gonna use Buttery which was the first shade that I used all over my lid and I want to make sure that we don't forget to highlight our brow bone. Now for the inner corner, I wanted to add a little pop of color. So what I did is that I used these two eyeshadows. The first one is this like forest green that is called Anaconda. And then this like matte yellow eyeshadow that is called Fresh. So we're gonna combine both of them and hopefully it'll become a nice pop of color. And let's make sure we blend it out so we don't have any harsh lines. I'm gonna see my under eye concealer with the Laura Mercier powder, which I have been obsessed with this. Oh my god, this thing does miracles for the under eye, I must say. I don't know why it took me so long to buy this, but this is like the bomb. For contouring, I'm gonna use this Nikki Garrett's Contour Duo in the shade Medium. They actually sent this to me. This is my second time uh, using this, and I'm gonna use with the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. I actually like the powder, it does a really nice job and it's very smooth so far. It's very nice and blendable. Looks nice. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the City Colors Contour Effects. This is another contour palette. And I'm gonna use, uh, to bronze out my face, this shade right here in the middle that is labeled as bronze. And I'm gonna use this as a bronzer and also I'm gonna use this as a, a blush because there's a lot going on with these eyes right here. To highlight, I'm gonna use the same Nikki Garrett Duo Palette. Actually, I really, really like this uh, highlighter, not for nothing. I tried this over the weekend and I was like, okay, I'm feeling this. You guys let me know what you think, but I am loving this. Now moving on to the lips, I'm going to use this Jordana lip liner in the shade Coco Loco. Now this color, it is out there and dark. So, uh, moving on to the lipstick, we're going to use the City Color City Chic Lipstick. And I like this shade because it's a nice a rosy peachy shade which is going to look good with this lip liner. 
but we're going to brighten it up a little bit with this NYX Intense Butter Gloss and the shade Sorbet with a nice bright color, you guys. So I'm just gonna apply this right in the center of my lips. Okay, I ended up mixing it up with the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Tres Leches. I just couldn't help it because I have been loving this sucker for these last couple of weeks. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys like and enjoy this tutorial featuring this palette. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel in case you didn't. And until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Besitos.